hello in this video we will see how to call a get http method using resource and computed signals this is one of the video of the playlist for crud operation in angular 19 so in this video we will just focus on get and in the next videos we will focus on other methods like post put and delete so let's get started this is my simple angular application uh, it's just a static app so far. There is no comp no interaction here. I want to call the user's API from this dummy JSON. So let's get started here. Let me first create a service. I will just create a service using a CLI ng generate service. I would say users, and I have my service here. This service should return the array of the users and if you look at the result here if i just zoom in this is the structure of the users object so we have user array and there are total skip and limit parameter so let me create an interface here i would just say user.model.ts and i will just take few properties from this response so i will define interface like this okay so we have our interface here now i want to call the api here the users api for that i will define my resource here so i would say public get users of type resource ref and this would be user array let me import the reference ref and the input here and i want to initialize it so what i will do is in constructor i will define this dot get users is equal to resource which comes from the angular core and it takes one object called loader and loader is a function which will export accept the fetch the promise base any api you can call so i would say fetch here so return fetch and i want the url so let me take a url here then dot then here i want to put response dot json but in the json i want to do some transformation here because it's not a direct array of user there is a property called users and some other properties so first let me try to mark it as a sync and i would just return one object that i will create here users i will first take the object here and i would say user response and user response dot users because that should be the part of the response here user property so this is my response here and I can actually define some type here actually what it returns. So this can be explicitly marked as it returns promise of user array just to be better reference and we got our service ready. Let me close this one. So far no errors. I want to use this service in my app component so let me add service reference public read only user service is equal to inject user service and in constructor I want to set the signal so let me create a signal here public users of type signal user array and i need to import signal from angular core and user model let me set it here so i would say this dot users is equal to computed and in computed it takes let me import computed first it takes a function and get users will return me 
let me take the response here like this first uh, uh, this is going to be a resource is equal to this dot get user service dot get users uh, it's just like this and I can say here resource dot value or if it is not resolved so far I will use empty and this I can just print into my HTML here so in the content I can just say do you and here I will have a for loop of user of user users and this is a signal so you need to call it as a signal track by user dot ID and here we can just use a div and it can be user dot first name and user dot last name let's compile and see the changes okay we got our response here so what did we do on a quick recap we defined a user service that service accept the fetch here and in the fetch we are just trying to fetch the data mod read the result and read the value so in terms of http you can imagine this as you are calling http get and you are calling the pipe and in the pipe you are using map operator to extract this object this user object here now this property we are passing to the component in the constructor but we are not setting into any array directly we are setting it to a in, in a signal and that signal is being watched by this computed signal in html whenever the signal changes this array will change and you will see the output here so that's it thank you